Okay, so it's time for the update. I'm going to keep this very short, quick, and sweet because let's just get into it. So the update for week two, three, I think week two and three, is that I was able to control my cravings a little bit better than I did for the very first. The very first week was bizarre. If you watch the video, you know what I'm talking about. If you didn't watch it, you can definitely check it out. I'll leave a link in the description box. The second thing was that I ate way less sugar. Remember, I was like drinking tea with almost every meal for week one. Yeah. This time around, I think I had tea like one time because I didn't have anything I wanted to eat. Just tea with a little bit of sugar, no milk, and I had some bread. I hope I took a video. I think the mistake I did these past two weeks was that I wasn't recording everything. I felt like it was going to be repetitive, so I didn't record every meal I ate and all of that. I'll do, I'll do better in the future. So good that sun is shining. Tell them my feet kicked up like I ain't trying. Yeah. This is what I want a summer, yeah. Gangs all here, let's run it, yeah. Five right here, 100, yeah. I've been on game like EA. Sip it too soon, that pregame. Sign up on two, that three way. I just went fast like we late. I just thank God, like you say. Shoot, sure, that was that. Very little sugar, which is amazing. I think the only time I had. A drink like a drink that contained sugar was when I went to see my parents I went to visit my parents my brothers and then my mom makes the, these delicious drinks and I had to have one so I had that I felt good about it I don't regret having it because I've been a good girl I haven't been too restrictive but I also haven't gone overboard so that's something I'm happy about the next update is that I worked out every I have two rest days in a week like every proper gym regimen, I believe. Once you work out, lift weights, strength training, all of that, you're supposed to allow your body to rest, rejuvenate, and heal before you go back into the gym. So I have two rest days, and I rest on my rest days. But aside my rest days, I have worked out every single day this week and last week, and I'm so happy from, like I'm so proud of myself. I feel good. I like that my Jinbei nature is coming back. Jinbei is gym rats, just in case you don't understand. I've been working out really hard. I've also been doing like cardio twice a week because even though I want to lose weight, I don't want to lose muscle. So I'm not doing too much cardio, but I'm making sure that I do cardio at least, like full body cardio at least twice a week. And the rest of my days I use for strength training hypertrophy is that what's called i don't know we're gonna call it strength training over here hypertrophy i think strength training i've been vibing with the crew ain't no silence that's the move if you kill it on the vibe you want me to front a goodbye i've been vibing me and my folks are good that sun is shining so yeah, the gym, I haven't missed out on the gym. Then I was able to fast way more than I did. Do you remember at the start of the challenge, I said that I was going to intermittent fast and then the first week of intermittent fasting was horrible and I couldn't do it. The second week and the third week, I aced it. Okay, not aced, aced is an exaggeration, but I did so good. I was able to fast for like, the least I could fast every single day was 18 hours 16 hours but on those days that i was on beast mode i could go 20 hours of fasting so i just eat once a day and that was it like for the longest of time ever since i heard about intermittent fasting i've been tracking my weight on this app called simple so this is what the app looks like so you can see that from last night i fasted for about eight hours and then 
The next thing I was supposed to eat will be at 5.15 right here. I use this, but sometimes I can easily ignore this when I get very hungry. So I added one more thing. I don't know which, I think there's some psychology around it because it worked. Like, let me show you what I did. Where is it? Okay, so this is what I did. Can you see? Oh, come on, focus. So do you see, I started taking the hours, like I started giving a tick for every hour I worked out, which is very basic, but I promise you like coming back to my journal and taking, so this is six, so I, I would take all the way and then I would write the time or the time at which I broke my fast and it worked. So for this particular day, I broke my fast at 7.30 p.m. And I didn't know what the psychology is behind it, but coming back to my journal and leaving a take for every hour I fasted was very amazing. So I didn't know, I think that helped. This particular system helped because I just got that gratification that comes with um, fulfilling something. And I only had to wait one hour to get that gratification and it worked so if you're struggling maybe you could try it just make a little take for every hour you fast one two three four when you get to the fifth one you cross it out you start again like we used to do when we were kids yeah so now that we've talked about everything i did everything i didn't do wait i did talk about what i didn't do what i didn't do was i didn't drastically reduce my carb intake so yeah of course i did a lot of portion i controlled my portions definitely but i didn't take out carbs completely i tried to do that one monday i was inspired to do like a week of eating salads i quickly realized that if i went that route i'll get to like the middle of the week and it'll be downhill so i didn't do that i'll tell you how i intend to lose a little bit more weight in the coming two weeks god willing but first of all let's get into the measurement week one ended yesterday yesterday was actually on sunday but i usually take my measurements on monday monday i had to rush to work because i was running late and today is tuesday so i thought it'd be a good time to take the measurement did i say week one week two last week was week two before week three starts i initially wanted to share my weekly updates but i also want to share other stuff on my channel so i didn't want wednesday to be always about weight loss uh, my weight loss journey right so i'm going to be sharing the weight loss videos every other week so it's going to be two weeks combined but before the next week starts which is week three i wanted to document the progress for week two so that we can have a proper view of what is happening on the weight loss journey and with my body i'm obviously in a good mood and i'll tell you why so i've literally been recording my progress in my journal um with regards to the my actual weight on the scale like i said in the very first progress video i'm not going to share my actual weight because i'm not comfortable with that but i can share the differences so the first time i weighed myself it was 21st september 2020 then the next time i weighed myself was 28th september 2022 which was exactly a week after and i had lost 1.9 kg then on the first i just thought it was a new month i wanted to see my weight at the beginning of the month so on the first of october 2022 i weighed myself again and between the 28th of september and the first of october i'd lost another 1.8 kg now let's take my measurement like we did last month Okay, so at the end of week two, these are my measurements. Starting with the bust, I'm gonna find the widest. This is the widest. Boom, 43. And the next thing I checked was my tummy. This is the measurement. Okay, so at the end of week two, we are 36 and a half. For week one, I was at 37, so just half an inch. That's fine. Okay, like I did last week, I'm gonna get the widest part. This is the widest part. I'm just gonna put my finger in it and take it out. Yay, 49. Last week was 50, so this week is 49. I've lost one inch on my hips. So yeah, we have made some progress. 
I'm happy. I'm happy that I've made a little bit of progress from the very first. From the beginning up until now, I have lost 1.9 plus 1.8 is what? 1.9 plus 1.8 is 9 plus 8 is 7. 3.7 kg. <laughs> I'm so happy. I've lost 3.7 kg. I struggled to deeper waters. I caught on my sisters, my brothers. I've taken so many steps forward and a hundred more back. So, ooh, a dark cloud keep rolling in. And yet I've been down and down. And that's it for me too. But here's what I've learned. It's not the destination. Let me just give a little disclaimer. It's that time of the month. And when it is that time of the month, my tummy is usually slightly bloated and my boobs get slightly heavier. I don't know if these measurements will be a true reflection or not, but you're still gonna get them regardless. I'm not in the yellow um, leggings I usually wear because those are dirty and I just took my bath. I'm not about to put that on. Okay. Right there. Wait, 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 wait. I think we are down by one inch. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm happy. And with a bloat, hmm, can't wait to see what next time is. The boobies, the boobies, the boobies. Oh my God, wait, 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 wait. First of all, do I have been lifting weights in the gym, doing a lot of chest exercises? You have no idea, but look, look wait, 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 look. This, I'm gonna go down and make sure that that's the widest. Yeah, in the post. <laughs> oh my god! Look, 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 so this is where it is. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I think my favorite part about losing weight is my boobs shrinking. Let's get the bump. Can you see my bump? Do I have to lower the camera? It looks like I have to. Another thing. If you watch my videos, you know that I have said that I have like knee injuries and all of that stuff. So I can't squat at the gym because every single time I try to squat, it's almost like someone is chiseling at my knee. So I don't even attempt to squat. So I do different variations of glutes and quads and hamstring exercises <sighs> that don't include squatting. The first time we checked was 50. So 50 is crazy but it shouldn't shrink at the same rate my boobs are shrinking <laughs> or oh, my tummy is shrinking if you get what i mean yeah this is the way okay that's the widest part and i'm just going to do this put my finger in it please surprise me in a good way <laughs> okay we are now 49. surprise me in a good way Surprise me in a good way. We are now at 49. Now, to the weight. Ten. I didn't reduce from last. The measurement is 0.1 kg above what it was last week. So, yeah. I don't think I've gained that much muscle to stay at the same weight for a week like i don't feel like i've gained much muscle even though for some reason i feel a little bit lighter i don't know if it makes sense yeah that is it so far oh yeah i forgot i have to do a 360 for my people this is your 360. You gotta be patient don't be in a hurry it's not Three point six kg in about two three weeks. I am happy. I would have wanted to lose about five kg, but you know, I am happy that the number on the scale is going down. Um, yeah. Let me let me calm down. The excitement's a bit much. <laughs> It's all in the 
and that's about it subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up with these updates and i will see you in exactly two weeks <laughs> oh my god yeah.